I've just been, I've been a fan since I was a kid. You know, I, uh, the first the first thing I ever watched was uh, early Eddie Murphy Delirious. And it was so funny, and I loved it, and I quoted it all the time. And uh, and then I just I just loved comedy. You know, I watched a lot of it, and then uh, and then I started uh, I book a lot of comedy, and uh, I just I just really enjoyed it. That's kind of what inspired just watching it, being a big fan. First time you're nervous. I got very drunk. I got drunk before. Uh, my friends kind of like pushed me into it because I, I was friends with comics before I ever had the guts to ever go okay. and do comics. This is no longer a and so they, uh, this is the they were like, dude, you just gotta go. You just gotta do it. And they kept pushing me and pushing me. I wanted to, but I was too scared most of the time. And then there was a show, it was called the Drunk and High Show, where you'd have to be drunk or you'd have to be high, and then you'd go up and do comedy. And so uh, I got very drunk with my friends, and then they pushed me on stage, and I did the show, and then I had a really good time, and I didn't bomb as bad as you would think, and then I was hooked, and I just started going up every night after that. Yeah. So obviously Eddie Murphy Delirious is one of my favorites, uh, and then I, I would say I'm a big Hamill Burris fan. Uh, I liked his uh, his live, in, I think I think it was called Live in Chicago. I like that one a lot. Um, who else do I like really enjoy? But right now I, I enjoy really enjoy Maria Bamford. That's she's one of my favorites. For sure. I really like the new special. I thought that was really cool. Um, so I'd say those three are probably like my favorites for sure. You know what? I really love the King of Queens. I don't think I think it's underrated. It, uh, it got a little, and I think it got a bad rap. But I actually bought the DVD set like three times. Cause I bought it once, my house burnt down, and then I bought it again, and then it got stolen, and then I bought it again. So I don't know. I, I really like that one. I know that's cheesy, but that's that's a really fun show. I thought. But I actually don't watch a lot of comedy movies. I, I, I think I watch a lot more horror and. And it's in, in drama stuff. I don't know why. I do watch, I watch a lot of specials, comedy specials. Um, but yeah. Um, and then as far as SNL, I mean, SNL's always been great. I really, I, I remember growing up in like my first introduction to SNL that I can remember. It's probably like the Adam Sandler era of that. And that, you know, I loved that growing up in Chris Farley. And, and that was wonderful. Uh, but also, I, I've been watching SNL for so long. I love all the new, like I love the cast now, I loved it when Kristen Wiig was on it, she was wonderful, and now I think they have like, uh, Kate McKinnon is so funny, there's so many good people on it right now, I think, I think it's been good for 10 years now. Be Hannibal Burris, probably, because it's just my favorite comic that's around doing comedy right now, he's a, uh, yeah, that's the, Pretty simple one for me, I think. Yeah. But it's also too, it's fun. I, I will say that it's really fun touring with your friends too. You know, when you're a comic around the same same size or uh, same level as another comic, and you guys are touring. It's a lot of fun, rather than you know you open up for some people who are bigger, and they're you know they have their own thing and they do their thing. They go to their hotel, they do it, and then you're on their own. But when you're touring with someone your same size or like popularity wise or your same size, like just as far as like skill level and just how how long you've been doing it, it's just a lot more fun because you're hanging out, you're going to the bar afterwards, you're hanging out with friends, you're meeting new comics, and I think right now it's something that. Uh, I think it's something to cherish. Cherish is uh, is like just doing these little tours that I've been doing with comics that have been doing it, you know, three to six years, you know, and haven't quite made it, but are very funny people. It creates good memories. Well, I think if you're doing roasts, you have to do Jeff Ross. Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe is like a king of roasting, you know. So those two, I think, would be up there. And then, and then you want to get roasted by the people you like. So I, I would honestly, I'd probably choose friends that you've never heard of. You know, that, that's always fun. In fact, we just did a roast where they, I felt like they tore me apart pretty good. Uh, it's always interesting being roasted because. Uh, 
you simultaneously like you're like oh this is just fun we're all laughing but you get your feelings hurt a whole bunch <laughs> but you're like laughing through that pain you know, you know so um, yeah so I would say those two and then probably just some people I know who knows <laughs> you know you do your best you keep hitting the road you, uh, you uh, keep just trying to rewrite and just ditch all your old material, come up with the new stuff. You just keep doing that, and then uh, you know, eventually something sticks. I, I'm from Houston. I do plan on staying in Houston, but I want to be a very mobile comic where I can kind of go where I want and do what I want. Um, but where to move would be to New York. But, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty unsure about the whole thing. You know, five years is a long time, so we'll see. Man, I did a little improv for a while, and that was a lot of fun. I like sketch, I like improv. Um, I'd be okay with all of it. You know, all of it's all of it's good. I, I've, I, a lot of stand-ups will be like, hey, I'm only into this. Uh, I'm only into stand-up, and that's a true form, and the other stuff I don't like, and it's goofy. But I, I like the goofiness of it. I love improv, and some of my favorite comics uh, are super into improv, like uh, Kurt Brownell or, uh, or T.J. Miller. Like they did a lot of improv, and you can see it in their comedy. I think doing improv makes you a better comedian, and I personally love it. Youngblood, Facebook, uh, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I'm just up there. I'm saying some stuff that I like, and I hope everyone else enjoys it too. Hey, I'm Andrew Youngblood, and check out my interview on cutiepie.com.